Quickie Caper, the Great Canadian Maple Syrup Heist. If nothing else, it's a great title, isn't it? If you're looking to make a lot of money, you could try to rob money or gold or jewelry, but those are well protected. So why not try something less well protected like maple syrup? A group of 17 sticky-fingered individuals work together to steal maple syrup from Canada's strategic maple syrup reserves. Yes, Canada has strategic maple syrup reserves. Because of course they do, they're Canadians! They started off by siphoning off the maple syrup from the barrels and replacing it with water. Some of the individuals had businesses packaging and selling maple syrup, so they packaged it and transported it to the United States for sale. By packaging smaller quantities for retail sale, they aroused no suspicion and the buyers had no clue it had been stolen. This went on for several months, during which time they stole over 8,000 metric tons of syrup and made over $18 million. At some point, apparently they figured out it was easy enough to get away with it that they didn't bother replacing it with water. But then, in August of 2012, inspectors noticed that there was a lot less maple syrup than there was supposed to be. Inspector Michel Gavreau actually climbed on top of the barrels and found that they were empty. Kind of a sticky situation. That's the weird thing. If they just kept replacing it with water, the heist might not have been discovered for years. Guess you could say they were a bunch of saps. In the end, the thieves were caught red-handed. I guess the moral is, Canadians are nice people, but don't mess with their maple syrup.